Welcome to this Your Mechanic Overview of Setting Customer Expectations. Setting Customer Expectations. Why is this so important? For one thing, it prevents the customer from feeling like they've been blindsided. In other words, expecting one thing and then getting what they didn't expect. When this happens, it's not uncommon for a customer to feel taken advantage of. They become distrusting, and this often leads to a warranty claim situation. And whereas it's not possible to avoid every unexpected situation, with a little forethought, their impact can definitely be minimized. Which leads us to another reason that setting customer expectation is so important, and that is, it helps to keep the customer informed. Informed customers are more likely to understand and approve additional needed services or repairs and less likely to create warranty claim situations. We'll now highlight the most important areas to properly set customer expectations. These areas include diagnosis, replacing faulty electrical or engine control components, broken timing belts, brake bedding, and corroded fasteners. Let's first take a look at diagnosis. It's not uncommon for people to think that all that's needed to pinpoint a problem is to connect a piece of equipment that instantly tells us what the problem is. Of course, this is far from reality. As you probably well know, even though advanced equipment can make certain aspects of diagnosis more efficient, when it comes to diagnosis, it can still sometimes be very involved. Diagnosing often consists of a check engine light being on, engine performance problems such as rough running or lack of power issues, no star conditions, which often entails electrical diagnosis, and then there are overheating engine problems. Perhaps the first order of setting expectations when it comes to diagnosing these things is setting the expectation of time. Although your mechanic always starts with one hour of diagnosis time, before you begin, it's always important to set the expectation with the customer that it may take longer. Again, the best time to let them know this is before you begin. When you let them know this, if you include some facts that the customer can relate to, it can help them better understand why additional time might be needed. For example, you could explain to the customer, your vehicle can have close to a mile of wiring in it and contains many, many sensors, relays, and control units. So it's possible that it could take more than one hour to find the problem. I'll let you know if additional time is needed and then get your approval before continuing. In saying something as simple as this, you will have set the proper expectation with the customer regarding the time to diagnose the problem. The next order of setting customer expectation is regarding the repair itself, especially when electrical or engine control components are involved. Even when you are 100% certain that a component has failed, other related factors that are unknown at this point may be involved, and it's important that customers understand this. I repeat, it is important that customers understand this. This is easily done simply by letting the customer know that sometimes the reason a component fails is because it was affected by another issue, or that the failed component itself may have affected something else in the system. You want to let them know that you will still need to reevaluate things after replacing it. Because if other factors are contributing to the problem, additional diagnosis will be needed. Again, in doing this, you will be setting the proper expectation for the customer. If this expectation isn't made clear to the customer, here's what can happen. The customer authorizes the replacement of the bad component. Afterward, their problem still is present 
and then you have to tell them that something else is needed. Now they're in doubt or maybe even upset as to whether the part you just replaced was a problem at all. Their guard is up. They claim you misdiagnosed the issue. And in effect, they would be right. Because without setting the expectation that something else could be involved, they're led to believe that replacing the part that you recommended would solve their problem. And it didn't. They may even feel you were just trying to take advantage of them. And that would be damaging to the reputation of your mechanic as well as yourself. You can now understand why properly setting customer expectation is so important. These same principles can be applied to dealing with an overheated engine problem. Even if you discover the cause of the overheating, like a bad thermostat, electric fan, water pump, or coolant leak, can you think of some expectations that you want the customer to be aware of besides replacing the bad component? How about the fact that whenever an engine overheats, it can cause a blown head gasket, or a cracked head, or engine block damage? They should know that these things may not be able to be determined until after replacing the faulty component. When dealing with replacing a broken timing belt, before proceeding with the job, the customer will want to be made aware that because of possible valve interference, cylinder head or valve damage may have occurred, which may not be known until after the replacement of the belt. When replacing brake pads and or rotors, the customer should be made aware that there's a possibility of reduced braking efficiency or noise until the brake pads fully break in or bed in. This can sometimes take weeks. By the customer knowing this, it will help avoid chances of them complaining or calling for warranty inspections for these normal conditions. And finally, there is the setting of customer expectations when doing jobs with potential corroded fasteners. Parts such as water pumps, thermostat housings, intake or exhaust manifolds can often have corroded fasteners that break during replacement procedures, particularly on older high mileage vehicles. So before, before starting the repair, it's good for the customer to know that if a stud or bolt breaks, additional time and parts will have to be added to the repair. We've just reviewed the importance of setting customer expectations when it comes to diagnosis, replacing electrical components, broken timing belts, brake bedding, and corroded bolts. We also included some suggestions in doing this. However, the purpose of this video was to highlight the importance of setting the proper customer expectation in any area of service or repair. And remember, it should be included in your voice or text notes that these expectations were explained to the customer. Customers are much more receptive to additional diagnostic and repair needs if they understand what is happening and know what to expect. And this can make the difference between a dissatisfied customer and a happy one. Thank you for reviewing this information on setting customer expectations.